if a child is not comfortable with their parents, you could find out they're doing bad things without um, their parents knowing. But it's part of life. It doesn't mean because I, I like that person, it doesn't mean no, I'll marry them, whatever. It's what my mom used to tell me that puppy crushes, beating children. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying this like, no, I don't want to be beaten, whatever, but. It's not all the times when you really need to like beat your children. I don't know if it's just me, but when you beat a child, it's like you are teaching them how to be okay. more sneaky. Yeah. They used to beat them a lot, but now they don't beat them. And the reason is that they have become more intelligent. They don't, okay, their parents don't know what they are doing. Even though they are continuing, but their parents don't know anything about it. Do they know how to hide it? Huh? Yes, they, they know how to hide it. With their parents. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anora Mama Mangala Chisenga. So I create content based on my care tips, lifestyle, and faith related content. Apart from that, I am a mental health advocate, Chio. So I really, really, really appreciate it. If you would subscribe to this channel, if you're not subscribed, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with somebody and invite more people so that they could come and know about this channel. So in today's video, we are with this man. Oh, hi, my name is uh, Joshua Henry Takondom Shanga. I'm here with my auntie. Mm -hmm. We're doing a video of um, what us kids would like to talk about with our parents. What would be comfortable talking about with our parents? Yeah, so basically, from the title of the video, young, is it conversations that young yeah. people would want to have with their elderly parents? So let's get right into it. So, what, what are some of the conversations that you would want as elderly people to have with you that we are not having with you well number one if for example maybe i have a crush on some on someone right mm -hmm. i would really be comfortable i would even come i would be comfortable the way i talk to you i would come i would, I would like it if i would go to mom and be like mom there's this new girl in class <laughs> this this and that i would really be comfortable because like mm -hmm. i know it's part of life it doesn't mean because i, I like that person it doesn't mean no i'll marry them whatever it's what my mom used to tell me that Puppy crashes. Mm -hmm. It's part of life. We all pass through it. You could like a lot of people. It's just part of life. Nothing mm -hmm. bad will come out of that. Mm -hmm. Well, some parents are really strict about us. Mm -hmm. Okay, I would, even me, when I grow up, I won't be like a strict, strict parent. Mm -hmm. I would like my children to be comfortable with me talking about talking with me about um, what happens in their life, this, this and that. For example, mm -hmm. the way I connect with my auntie here mm -hmm. or my small mother. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I connect with her since I'm Hakasoli. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like it if um, if they have any problems, like if they are bullying them, whatever, if they would if they would come to tell me, I tell them this, this and that. Mm -hmm. If they if they come and tell me no, I like this, yeah, I like that, yeah, I'll just advise them, I'll do be like I wouldn't be like, no, whatever, stop hanging out that place on me, mm -hmm. this, this, and that. Mm -hmm. I'd really like my children being comfortable with telling me a lot of things that happen in their life. Mm -hmm. Because if a child is not comfortable with their parents, you could find out they're doing bad things without um, their parents knowing. Yeah. If if you're comfortable with your child, even if the, your child wants to start doing bad things, they could be like, I want to start doing this, this, and that without them knowing that this bad and you could... You could be quick to think and tell them no that's mm -hmm. not good mm -hmm. that's what i'd really like if if um, parents are not really that strict yeah. with their children when it comes to things like crushes mm -hmm. things like that okay so for instance um let's say if you're having this bad age like maybe you're having this bad temptation for let's say your friends are telling you saying let's go we drink yeah. would you want to have such a conversation with your parent also like oh no I've been I've been getting such temptations like bad influence from my friends lately. Like they've been telling me, let's go we drink. Would you want to have such a conversation with your parents? Well, that one I would kind of say I think say yes because I would really be like I would tell I would tell my mom like my these friends of mine are telling me you should go do this, this and that and I don't want to do it. So what should I do? How could I say no without them thinking like no, I still want to be hanging out with them but not doing the things they are doing. So what type of response? Like I say, okay, yeah, like what you've said about the crashes and everything. What type of response are you looking forward to when you come to your parents saying, okay, I have a crush on this person? What type of response are you looking forward to? Are you looking forward to the no, don't do this or something? What what type of response no. are you looking forward to? 
Okay, I would really like if like my mom or my dad or any okay yeah, any other my, person in general, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. like you for example, just tell me like first you tear out everything now to say not to be. I haven't even reached on half. You just start shouting at me whatever. Mm-hmm. I would really like you listen to what I have to tell you mm-hmm. and you just advise me like okay yeah. It's a crush, it's part of life, especially the age that I am. I'm a teenager, I'm going through puberty. Mm-hmm. There'll be things that I'll, okay, I'll be, my hormones will start reacting now. Mm-hmm. This is the, but this is the stage of life where I start growing up. Mm-hmm. So I would like if you are, you would advise me like, yeah, it's fine if you like that person, mm-hmm. but don't do this, this and that. You could, don't do this, don't do that, things like that. And They're telling me the do's and don'ts. So in short, you would like to have the talk. Yes, the talk. <laughs> For me, I don't know, correct me where I'm wrong. When I'm where I'm wrong, okay, correct me. So I don't know. I feel like if we don't have these conversations with you, we are suppressing the emotions that you're supposed to be feeling. Yes. Because we as elderly people, the fact that we have been through it, we've been we've passed through the play, the stage that you're currently going through. It's our duty to help you guide, like and not to help you suppress them. Because when we help to when we suppress them, you won't later on in the future when we need you to feel those emotions you'll be unable to feel them because yeah. you didn't at the time when we were supposed to help guide you and help you control them we pushed you into a place where we suppress them is that true yeah it's, it's true, true right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay so what else would you want to add on about hmm. okay i'd also like to add on like beating children mm-hmm. i'm not saying this like no i don't to be beaten whatever but it's not all the times when you really need to like beat your children. Mm-hmm. Let me say, for example, I do something wrong. Mm-hmm. I've, okay, let me say I've been doing something wrong, right? Mm-hmm. And if I just, okay, and I just find out like, okay, this is wrong. Mm-hmm. I just go on to my mom or dad and I tell them, I've been doing this, this and that. The reaction I would want you to, to, to do is, I would want you to, if, even if it's shouting at me, I would be like, it's okay. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't want you to beat me because if you beat me, that's making me, be scared all the time i'll be like ah if i tell them they'll mm-hmm. beat me let me keep it secret mm-hmm. i like the way the fact that my mom and my dad don't really beat me a lot so sometimes even if i'm doing something wrong mm-hmm. there's this one time when my mom was in osaka right mm-hmm. i i was doing something wrong and one day i was like okay this is very wrong mm-hmm. i caught her when she was coming back here in Indola. Mm-hmm. she came and i thought i've been doing this this and that she never even beat me she never even shouted at me she just advised me mm-hmm. i would really like it Sometimes if your children just face up by themselves, you don't really have to beat them. You could shout at them, but don't really beat them because they'll be they'll be afraid. Like no, if I tell them the truth, is they find out. One thing that I, that that I knew as a kid, it's like me. I don't know if it's just me, but when you beat a child, it's like you're teaching them how to be okay, yeah. more sneaky. Mm-hmm. Because like maybe they find you doing something you're not supposed to mm-hmm. do, right? Mm-hmm. And they beat you. You start going through. You be like okay. What what mistake did I make? And, and you'll be like, next time I won't make that mistake. Yeah. And by that, you're, you're like saying that I'll do it again, but next time they won't catch me. Yeah. So I would really like to be comfortable if I'll tell my mom I've been doing this, this and that, or my dad then they would advise me, no, this mm. and that. Don't me, they never really used to beat me a lot as a kid. So I'm really comfortable in telling my parents things. Yeah. And if you're a 90s baby, definitely you've gone through the phase where our parents used to beat us a lot. So uh, sometimes we, we do show grace to them because it was their first time being a parent. They never knew what to do. But I think from my end, I feel like beating doesn't work out because if I, I'm human at the end of the day, you can just sit me down and have a normal conversation with me. Let me hear. Because I, I think I'm a, I, I strongly believe that if you're wrong, I have to sit this guy down saying, oh, Joshua, what you have done, I don't like it. Next time, don't do this. You don't do this, you do this. But in a normal, calm way. Unless when I see that the normal, calm way is not working. Maybe then I'll have to use a higher tone so that he understands that, okay, here, I've really pushed it. Uh, I've pushed her to the limit for her to get yeah. to this point. And meaning what I've done is wrong. And when you don't listen to the higher tone, that's when I would really allow that, okay, now you can beat me. Because yeah. I've tried the software, I've tried the two bit hard way, like shouting. Mm-hmm. And if I don't listen to both of them, that's when I could be like, okay, now it's okay for you to beat the child. Yeah, because I think beating destroys the child's, is it confidence? Yes. Yeah, it, it, it destroys your confidence and how you just look at yourself. Yeah, but I, I, I don't really advise beating my children. Me, okay, what I think when I grow up, I don't think I'll ever, I'll ever even think of beating my children. I don't think I'll reach to an extent of 
getting a belt, wanting to beat my children, not threatening them that I will beat them. I don't think my children will be like that. I think I'll just be comfortable with them. They don't know what's happening. Things like that. Yeah, but the Bible says, bear a road and spoil the child. So you can only use the road when it's necessary, yes. not always. Yeah, when it's necessary, when you see no okay, case gone out of hand, that's when you tend to use it, but not all the time because the, the child will grow up having self esteem issues. That one I would. I would. Yes. Yeah. Because I know some of my friends, they bet them a lot as mm -hmm. children. So I'll be like, this person doesn't listen because. It was, they used to beat them a lot, but now they don't beat them. And the reason is that they have become more intelligent. They don't, um, okay, their parents don't know what they are doing. Even though they are continuing, but their parents don't know anything about it. They know how to hide it, huh? Yes, they, they know how to hide it. with their parents. Mm -hmm. So is that all we had today? Yeah, I think that's all. Okay, so you can say goodbye. All right, goodbye. See you next time. Thank you for tuning in. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with somebody. And don't forget that even the young ones have a mental health and their mental health care it matters. So make sure that you connect and be a part of their life. Find out what's really going on in their lives. Thank you. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.